so we are solving what c of deck 2018 elective mathematics paper one we are solving questions one to five and the next one will solve six to ten in that order so we have this the binary operation star is defined on a set of real numbers by a star b equal a plus b squared minus 4 a b so negative 2 star negative 3 negative 2 star negative 3 is equal to negative 2 then plus negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times negative 3 and this is equal to negative 2 plus 9 then minus 4 to 8 8 3 24 minus 24 so this will give us 9 minus 26 which is equal to negative 17 so the correct answer is C. And we have this expressed to over 5 pi radians in degrees. So we know 2 over 5 pi radians will be equal to 2 over 5 pi times 180 over pi degrees 180 over pi degrees so this will be equal to 2 over 5 times 180 2 over 5 times 180 and this is equal to 72 degrees so the correct answer is D then question 3 we have this you know log 2 log to base 2 of x plus log 3 log to base 3 81 the same as 3 to the power 4 3 x 4 is equal to 1 so this is the same as log log to the base 2 of x plus 4 log 3 3 log 3 3 is equal to 1 so this is the same as log 2 is 2 of x plus 4 so this is the same as 1 minus 4 is negative 3 you know this thing is the same as 1 so 1 minus 4 gives us negative 3 so x will be equal to x will be equal to 2 to the negative 3 so x is the same as 1 over 2 to the power 3 and this is the same as 1 over 8 right answer is b then question 4 Question 4 We have this If 
P and Q are two logical statements such that Q implies P, which of the following is true. So if these are two logical statements, so we can form a truth table for it. So we have true, true, false, false. So the second statement is true, false, true, false. Now negation of P we negate this one. So negating of if not true then it's false. If not true then it's false. So false false true true. If not false then it's true. The negation of Q is if not true then it's false. If not I Then this one, if not false, then it's true. Then if not true, then false. If not false, then true. So Q in price P, Q in price P, true, true, will give us true. For this implication statement, we have false, true, will, will still give us true then true false so this is the only time that this statement is false when the first one is true and the second one is false that is when it is false otherwise everything is true so false false will give us true for the implication now we are asking which of the following is true so you have to form a table for these two the true value to see which one is equal to this so negation of P in price Q. So negation of P in price Q. So false true give us. So let me do a negation of P. Negation of P in price Q here. Yeah. Negation of P in price Q. No way. Negation of P in price Q, you are going to get so false true give us true then false false will give us true again then true true give us true again then true false will give us false then for negation of Q negation of Q in price P so negation of Q so false false true give us true 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 give us true then false true give us true then true false will give us false so all these none of them is the same as this then we come to p press q p press q true true give us true so this is p press q p press q True, true, give us true. Then, true, false, give us false. Then, false, true, give us true. False, false, also give us true again. Now, let's come to negation of P. In price, negation of Q. So this is negation of P, this is negation of Q. False, false will give us true. False, true will give us true again. True, false will give us false. Then true, true will give us true. So this, this and this, is it true, true, false, true. True, true, false, true. 
So this and this are the same. So the correct answer is this. So we have this one. We want to find the inverse of this. Now we can find the inverse in several ways. The shorter way is this. You know, g of x, g of x. When you compose g of x and its inverse, and g inverse of x. G inverse of x. So g inverse of x. We're supposed to get x. So by the definition, it means g of g inverse of x should be equal to x. So let's substitute this. So you are going to get whatever we see x we put g inverse of x so g inverse of x plus 1 over g inverse of x plus 2 is equal to x so you cross multiply and make g inverse of x a subject. So you obtain g inverse of x plus one is equal to you know you cross multiply and expand x times g inverse of x. plus 2x so our g inverse of x our g inverse of x g inverse of x into into 1 minus x so minus x is equal to 2x minus 1 so g inverse of x is equal to 2x minus 1 over 1 minus x so if you plug in the 2 so g inverse of 2 G inverse of 2 will give us 2 times 2 give us 4 minus 1 over 1 minus 2 and that is equal to negative 3 so the correct answer is negative 3 so the aptness is 6 to 10 don't forget to subscribe so that you get to know whenever I upload the continuation.